Today on the channel, we're talking about Mateus Asato's quick slide technique. Hi, my name is David. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping you develop your musical personality on the instrument. Today we're talking about Mateus Sasato. However, this video is not about playing exactly like Mateus, because there is only one of Mateus, there's only one of you. I truly believe that we all have something very unique, very personal to say on the instrument, and if we don't try to pursue that story that is inside of us, then we're missing out. This episode is about taking a look at one of the things, one of the many things that Mateus does so well. I, I really love his music. And we're going to try to understand what's going on, technically speaking, so that we can apply it to our own playing if it's something that we enjoy hearing. That's really an important factor too. No point in working on something that we don't enjoy. But in this case, I, I, I love this. I, I love everything that Mateus is doing. So that's what we're doing here. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this kind of thing. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. It just adds so much character and flavor and a coolness factor to your lines. It has to do with sliding out and back in to a note. And it's kind of a fast thing, but very controlled. So we're gonna start working in E minor, E minor pentatonic, you can apply this to anything. I have a backing track here, this one, that you can download with the charts. The, those will be the perfect complement to this lesson. I'll leave the link below, a free download. But for now, we're gonna look at the technique itself, and we're gonna use the first position of an E minor pentatonic scale. So here's our position, two notes per string. We're on E minor pentatonic. And we're gonna slide from the left note, which is on the 12th fret for each of the strings, to the right note and then back to the left. We're just gonna start with this. That's just one aspect of that technique. It's not quite that yet. And as you're doing this, I want you to have a really light approach, a light fret on there. I don't want you to, to really press it very hard because if you do, there's a lot of resistance going up and that's going to be heard as you play this. You need a very light approach. Now, you need to aim for that note. Do it slowly first if you need to. If you mess up, <laughs> try to fix it, that's okay. You just really need to get comfortable with aiming for the right pitch. Very basic for now. Do this, you know, four or five times, just getting used to those intervals. And now we're going to add an essential component to this kind of thing, and that's the pull off. We're gonna add an additional note just before what we just did. And that additional note is gonna be on the right side. So in this case, um, with all the, the strings, it'll be frets 15, 14, 14, 14, 15, 15. So we're gonna start here on the, the low E string, play that 15, pull off, and then do your slide. We're just working on precision right now. And then try to develop a little bit of speed. Once you get the basics of this technique, you need to be kind of reckless. You need to be reckless and, and just use it right away, assuming that you know how to use it. Trick your brain into thinking that it knows what to do. And even though it might sound a little sloppy first, if you force yourself to use it in context and at the right speed, things are gonna happen automatically. So let's give that a try. I added some delay and reverb, so it's, it's a very wet sound. That's really gonna work very well with this technique. Let's give this a try with a backing track. For this, I'm gonna try to stick to that first position of E minor pentatonic over this backing track, which you can grab below for free. I'm gonna start with a few bluesy lines. Playing with uh, the volume of the note, the attack. Some, some notes a little soft. Some a little louder. Playing really loose with the time. And then we'll try to 
implement this technique. Now let's try the same thing. This time I'm gonna go really outside. If I slow this down, really, really high up there and see what happens. Kind of worked, right? Oops. There's definitely some recklessness in there. Some of the phrases didn't quite work, especially when I went outside. But that's what I'm talking about. You take this and you really quickly try to apply it musically over a backing track, even if the technique is uncomfortable, because a lot of it really especially with this kind of technique that is fairly simple to understand, a lot of it is right here. A lot of it is believing that you can do it and you pretty much can do it. You'll find that that really helps a lot. Let's uh, take a look at a few variations of this. So a variation might be something like this where we start with the 12th fret. Again, any string will work, but here I'm in the third string, 12th fret. I'm gonna do a hammer on 14 and then quickly and almost simultaneously, I'm gonna do a pull off to 12, and as I'm doing the pull off, I'm gonna, going to slide up to 14. If I slow this down, it's something like this. But at fast speed, you don't really hear this. You hear this uh, note followed by a slide right away. That kind of thing, so that. And I'm just triggering the string one time. Another variation would be to start with a note, whether 12 or 14, it doesn't matter, and then um, just do the, a succession of sliding to and out of. That is a hard one to get, but add some reverb and delay and some brain power, believing in what you're gonna play, magic starts to happen. I'll say this, but don't expect <laughs> something really magical here, but we'll, we'll try. I just watched what I just recorded, and yes, I make ugly faces when I play. I know. Okay, so what do you get out of this? Well, you get out of this that, uh, first of all, Matteo Sassano is an awesome player. I think the reason why he's so awesome is because he plays like he plays. He's playing like Matteo. He's expressing the things that are inside of him, and you should do the same. Not, ex not inside of Matteo, but inside of you. It's really important. This quick slide technique is really simple, it's made of very simple techniques, pull-offs, hammer-ons, slides, in and out. The difficulty is a mental difficulty, which is often true for anything guitar. If you start believing that you can do it, and really important, try to externalize yourself from what's going on, is that the word, externalize? I'll use it. Externalize yourself from what's going on so that you can not just be the participant in music, but also the listener and the critical listener. Do you enjoy what's being said by you on the guitar? If yes, enjoy it and develop it. If not, well, you know that you need to fix that. But knowing what it sounds like is a big part of this. You can download the free backing track in the charts. The link is under this video and also check out Mateus' music. He's awesome. If you don't know him, you should. You're really missing out. Amazing musician, really like what he's doing. And if you want to learn a few other tricks that are gonna help you be super expressive, you should watch this video. This is about Andy Timmons, and he does some incredible, useful tricks that, are, that you should implement. They're very, very simple. Check this out. I'll meet you right here. Download the back of the bag below. Thanks for watching this. I'll see you next time. Practice well.